You okay? I heard you crying on the bathroom floor. I had to make sure you're fine. Later that night you called. Remember that? You were asking for an answer on why your life felt worthless. You were crying one tear after the other. You couldn't breathe. Choking on words, not knowing how to speak. So I came over. I brought your favorite food and candy to cheer you up. Told you that you meant the world to me. We watched movies, danced to music, and laughed at stupid things. But tell me, why am I always the one people cry to? They dump their emotions on me, expecting me to carry every last tear that falls from their face, every last emotion they spit into words, every hug they give me transfers all their pain into me. Remember when you couldn't stop hugging me for 30 minutes, crying because your boyfriend broke up with you? And you remember when I asked you for a hug because I wasn't mentally stable and you declined saying I can't. I'll be late to class. But I don't want a hug anymore. I don't want to be touched. Nobody understands how bad it hurts. When do I get to cry? When do I get to complain? When do I get hugs of support from somebody who's actually okay? When do I get those chances? I listen to every word they say, every sign of depression I will see, every tear that forms on the rim of their eye, I see, every cut, every scar, every cry I will see, because I'm their best friend. But it's okay, they're my friends, right? At least someone is happy by the end of it. At least someone won't feel as trapped with a thousand problems to think about. At least you have a smile on your face and don't have to worry about a single thing because you gave it to me. Remember when you came to me because your shirt was soaked in blood and your arm scratched and beaten like a cat attacked you? Sadly, that wasn't the case. So I gently ate your wounds, wrapped them with love, and gave you everything I could. But you still gave me your pain, your suffering, all the burning scars and cuts from your thighs to your stomach. But you will never see those on me because you already have too much to worry about and can't listen to me. But every time I bring up my own problems, you flee saying, oh, my mom's calling. But it's okay, right? I'm 